Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about balloon tamponade. We will start from the indications of balloon tamponade. The main indication of balloon tamponade is postpartum hemorrhage. And when the pharmacological measures fail to control the PPH, then comes the role of balloon tamponade as recommended by RCOG guideline about PPH. Now, what are the contraindications of balloon tamponade? Those include, first of all, fibroid or any anomaly of the uterus which causes distortion of the uterine cavity. Secondly, purulent infection of vagina and cervix. Thirdly, allergy to balloon materials like silicone and rubber etc. And PPH due to suspected uterine rupture, retained product of conception, vaginal or cervical trauma let us discuss the procedure of balloon tamponade the procedure of balloon tamponade starts with introduction so i would say that first of all i will introduce myself to the patient and attendants next step is the counseling of the patient i will counsel the patient by explaining the whole situation the balloon tamponade procedure its needs its merits and its possible demerits. Then come the consent. I will take the informed consent from the patient. Next come the position of the patient and doctor's preparation. I will put the patient in lithotomy position and in the presence of adequate light and anesthesia. After gowning and gloving, I will drip the patient and empty her bladder. Next come the preparation of balloon tamponade for Lee's catheter. Under aseptic measures, I will take 16 gauge adult size for Lee's catheter, fit it with condom and tie it with silk number one at its lower end. I will take 50 cc syringe for filling. Next come the use of sim speculum. I will ask my assistant to retract the posterior wall with a sim speculum. Next come the insertion of the catheter. I will hold the anterior lip of cervix with a sponge holding forceps and insert catheter fitting with, fitted with a condom inside the uterine cavity, taking it to the uterine fundus and preferably under ultrasound. The inflation of balloon. Now, I will start inflating the balloon catheter with a normal saline of about 250 to 300 ml with the help of 50 cc bladder syringe and ligate the lower end of the catheter to prevent the backflow after filling the condom. For how long will you keep the balloon catheter in situ? I will leave it in situ for 24 to 48 hours. Now, what to do at the end of the procedure? I will reposition the patient, cover her and shift her to the recovery room. And I will write down the detailed notes with the time, date and signature. Let us discuss the post-operative care. The post-operative care include, first of all, monitoring of the vitals. Secondly, the fundal height measurement. Next, vaginal bleeding. Input and output record. IV antibiotics, oxytocin infusion for 24 hours. Well, that is all I have it for today. I would like to end my presentation with this quote and that is learn flow state. The flow state is a mental state of mind in which you are pulled forward by big goals yet happy where you are now. It creates feeling of growth and feeling of being lucky. So learn flow state so thank you so much for your attention throughout the presentation i wish you all the best allah hafiz